Okay, uh, May 11, 2016. And the option to refine um, GIF UFI, UFI Boot Manager. This is my guide to 100 plus operating system on a single hard drive. Links will, will, be, will be posted at YouTube video description. First of all, let's. Uh, I'm gonna close this, and uh, we go back to the website to learn about uh, the the boot manager. Very nice boot manager, very easy to use, and I'm planning to have more than 100 OS on my single hard drive on my laptop, multiple computer, on uh, my desktop computers. And uh, I will use another, I will make another guide how to use uh, a power, a power, um, powered um, USB hub to use a uh, pen drive as a folder on the computer. You're going to be able to switch between OS but with the same hub you're going to be able to turn it on and off with the switch on the hub I will, once i have the hardware ready and uh, all the linux distribution ready the new ones the upcoming ones then i will start to do this guide right now i'm waiting for the opacity os i'm waiting for android x86 like remix is better right now uh, Phoenix OS which is based on Android X86 I'm waiting for Papyrus OS uh, Fedora, Corora Debian, Debian uh, Ibutum already have that but I'm waiting for it I'm waiting for the other ones um, but, um, all the major uh, is going to be over 100 OS, so it's going to be. Um, we're going to have a, to choose over whatever OS you want to use. We're going to use the new ones like uh, Papyrus, Chalet, DP, uh, Apicity. Let me check it out my website, my browser here. Let me close this first. Okay, the new, the new uh, OS is, I have it here, I will use the old distros, but I will use, uh, it's called Shalat OS, the other one is called Papyrus, the other one is Club Linux. I'm ready for the new version. Corona, Corona OS. I've been trying to download this ISO, the ISO, for two times and the MD5, I mean the SHA256 from the not match. It was changing uh, many times. So I think that their website is compromised. So uh, I'm waiting, I send them a uh, uh, wake up call with the, their website and uh, I will use a, a Pricity, I don't know if I pronounce it right, this is the OS here. So let me introduce the OS before I go to the, to the boot, to the, to the gear boot manager. 
uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I will say refined. It's the main, uh, the main uh, thing this boot manager does is to find the EFI uh, boot manager and uh, boot boot in the EFI partition. So let me introduce the new OS first, so you can. Uh, if you follow uh, this uh, this video, this guide, you, you will be know about the you will know about this OS, and you're going to be able to download it. I will show how to simply download any OS from the internet, and uh, I'm uh, it will be a system and software on the internet. Um, I know what, what I'm doing. So, if I say if it's safe to download, you can download it. If not safe, you can just send a message to the to whatever uh, uh, administrator of the website. Let them know about the problem. I done that with uh, Linux Mint and the Corolla OS. Oh, the new versions are already here. I didn't know that. Oh, that's very nice. I'm going to leave this open. Very nice. Because it's based on Ubuntu 14.4. So I was waiting for them to, be, to have it ready. So let's go to another one. This one is called Papyrus. I like to, to be able to use multiple OS. I like to boot from one to the other, and I, I like to sync my files with uh, every which which with every OS. And my guide is to show people that they can run multiple OS, but they can have access to all the bookmarks. All the all the information without having to to do anything special. So we're gonna use is to buy a, a, a USB hub that has the on and off switch. You can have all your uh, uh, pen drives connect to that hub, and we're gonna label each pen drive one like for download, one for pictures, the other one is uh, videos, documents, and uh, by turning on and off, when, when you log into any OS, your file is going to be there, and it's going to be very secure because you're going to leave it off, you're only going to leave it on when you're going to use it, if you're not going to use it, automatically you will you, 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 uh, even if your OS gets hacked, they don't want to be able to do anything with your files. So, Papyrus, uh, this, this is the alpha. So, I, I'm going to leave this open. I'm going to move to the next one. I'm going to use Linux Mint 70.3 Cinema Edition. Very nice OS. But like I said, I'm a guy who likes to use different operating systems. I like to keep both. And I think the future for people that work with the operating system is going to be great. Because with the Wi-Fi, they're going to be able to sell their OS. Or well, even if they don't want to sell their OS, but they can be able to maybe do a deal with Google and include the Google Play Store on their distribution and from there they can share the revenue uh, with, with uh, Google and the, and the OS makers. I think it's a big feature for the Linux distribution for the OS world. So let me go to the next one. We got Papyrus. Oh, 
Okay, Kirby Lennox. I believe this, this one will be the first one to have the Google Play Store because it's based on cloning OS and the clone OS from Google will have this, the, the, the Google Play Store built in and I believe this one will have that too so I wanna, I wanna see Right now, they not have it, uh, the, it's based on Ubuntu. So, it says here, Chromium plus Ubuntu, and then they have the name Club, Club Linux. This one right here, I'm a, a heavy user of uh, the Google ecosystem. This one is going to be one of the ones that we're going to be trying a lot. Not only that one, but the other ones. Free BSD I will be using too. Uh, let's go to the next one. The next one is Corolla. I've been having a problem with this website with this website because every time I click to download and give me a different SHA 256 SA and I know after half an hour when I look at the website again it gives me the different uh, SHA 256 uh, SA so this website uh, is really compromised I I told them I sent them my screenshot of the of the website showing different shots of six sun and I hope they can be able to do a to audit the code to make sure there is no spyware on there. No uh Trojan horse on their distribution. It looks very nice. It has the similar navigation Notes those the um, we're gonna be able to be to use the Corolla 24 and release which is gonna be soon. Okay, uh, this is a, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, it's called Apricity, Apricity OS, this is like uh, Elementary OS, looks very nice. I believe this one is a little better right now. I'm not going to show the new OSs.
Okay, this OS is based on, is recommended by the Free Software Foundation. This, uh, this operating system has no proprietary software in it, so I will use those two. I'm gonna use this one, the other one to have a list here. This one is called Trisco, the Trisco, I don't know how to call it, name. Those are not new, but a lot of people don't know about it. Let me go back here. I want to know why this website is not new. This distribution called G New Sense. This one is a G New. I proved um, proprietary software free. So you know, we all know when you have proprietary software in your computer, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. This one here, I like this one here because it has the the make desktop. That's the one I like it. I mean, use the cinnamon desktop. I will, I will leave this one here. There is more, but I'm not going to show here because there's going to be too many websites open at the same time in my browser. I'm using, uh, I'm running this OS from a pen drive, USB 2.0 pen drive. So I don't want to overload the pen drive with too much. Make the CPU too busy. Okay, so let's <coughs> let's go back to first. Let me take a look at elementary. OS. I like elementary OS a lot. The only thing I don't like about elementary OS is not being able to create folders on the desktop or shortcuts. I hope they change that in the future. Elementary OS, I'm gonna put it right next to the uh, the existing. Elementary OS is a very, very nice OS. The only thing uh, uh, <coughs> it looks good, but actually when you pen, when you boot the pen drive. With the OS, it looks great right, right there. You only need to make more changes to make it look great. The only downside that I don't like there is that you're not, you're not able to create folders or shortcuts to desktop. And I believe if, if they want to succeed, if they want to get, if they want to get to the tablet business, they have to be able to create the shortcuts on the desktop to be able to to grow the to be, you know what I'm saying to be able to sell to get to the business as a, a smartphone and, ta and tablet they have a very nice OS looks very neat beautiful you don't have to make no changes to make it look beautiful so I really like the elementary OS most of the OS's you have to make changes to make it look good, but this one it automatically comes nice. No changes needed. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna let it like that. So let's introduce to the bootloader. I hope the Let's go to the first page. The developer is right here, this is name is, is Roderick Smith. Go to their, their home page. Oh, shit. I made a mistake here. Shit. I like that for now. Actually, I want to have it. Let's go If you have any questions, you can uh, email him directly. I have the links. Okay, I have all the links at the video, YouTube video description. I'll, I'll have all the links here. I'm going to have the link of his website. And you're going to be able to get all, all uh, his web page here. So if you have any questions, you can contact him directly. If you have, if you, 
if you have any operating system that you want to have it uh, uh, like an icon of the operating system, you can contact him and he can uh, send. You can send him the icon and he can include it, include it, the icon on the on the bootloader. So I have all the links here. And I will have it posted at the YouTube video in the description. So today is the rainy day, May 11, 2016. I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna make a screenshot of this for my uh, for the YouTube. So I'm gonna use the tools that I have here. So when people look for the for this. For, for this software, we're going to see the, um, this image here. Okay, uh, I will have the link at the YouTube video description so you can check out the website and if you have questions you can email him directly. So I don't want to make this video long. So uh, pretty much the screen here shows everything what it can do. It, it gives you, if you use your Windows uh, Mac OS X and we want to install um, Windows 7, 8, 10 or whatever Windows uh, Windows 7 uh, Windows XP 64 bit I believe support with uh, FE but anyway you're gonna use the latest one Windows 7 or 8 or 10 uh, <coughs> Mac OS X only work with uh, uh, one legally. You can make it work with any hardware, compatible hardware outside the, the Apple hardware. But it's illegal. So if you want, if you do want to try to have more than 100 OS with Mac OS X, you gotta buy a uh, Mac hardware. I will be able to do that. I didn't try. I didn't try yet. But since it works with since Linux works, Linux and Windows works with uh, OS X, you'll be able to load another license there. But anyway, I I have I, I 
I had installed with uh, Windows 8.1 and uh, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and I also I had one computer with just Ubuntu and the Linux Mint, and everything works just fine. And the, the way you see the screen here, that's the way it looks when you put the computer. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go with details about uh, the website because I want the people to visit, visit his uh, website. Any questions there, you ask direct to him. So I'm just gonna show you that uh, there's different ways to install the software here. So I'm gonna show you how you install your computer okay I'm going to show how you can install and download so if you use a different uh, Linux distribution you will be able to it gives all the information here If you use uh, Debian or uh, Ubuntu based distro, the easy way to do it is, is uh, by using the PPA here. Anyway, I'm going to give the link how you can install it without uh, using the terminal. Okay, <coughs> you find uh, the server near, uh, near, uh, the, near the area that we live. I'm not gonna I'm gonna put the link here. If 
you find whatever server near, near you. Link. some screenshots here first I'm going to show the video that I made Okay, um, I have this, I have a computer connected with a 39 inch smart TV and I could, the sound on the fucking uh, Samsung high definition camera <coughs> did not come up good, so the sound is low, but you can, uh, I'm going to play the video and then I will say something about it.
As you can see, uh, it was do boring. It was do boring uh, in Bluetooth with the Linux Mint. You see the, the uh, it had the icon of each OS. So when you have the icon, it make it very easy to switch the, the, the name but I, I, I'm going to ask the guy if he can have the name of the OS since there is new there are new OS's they have the name of it the icon and the name of it like uh, I have my uh, Android I have Android uh, I have an Android uh, um, stick, Android uh, mini PC, Android box, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to show you on the image how the guy could do with the, since it's better right now, how you could have the name here the nice icons of the OS with the name of it. I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you here. Let me turn around my webcam here. Okay, this is this is a, a smart TV. I'm using this box in the bottom here. This is an Android mini PC or Android box. I need to get another webcam that display high definition, uh, full full definition full high definition by the way you can see on the image that uh, I made it look like that I will take a screenshot. No, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show. Let me do. The icon on the bootloader it could be like that. Have the the icon with the name, a nice icon with the name of the OS. I'm 
gonna take a screenshot of my of my uh, of my uh, Android stick. This uh, I have uh, my Samsung. Uh, I lost the cable, the data cable, the power cable for my Samsung uh, high definition webcam uh, camera, digital camera. But it's a proprietary um, uh, cable. I cannot find uh, easily that cable. And uh, Samsung is very hard to. They launch something, but after two years, three years, you cannot get no information about the stuff online. And it's hard to, to buy the stuff, proprietary stuff. Most of us. Uh, uh, place that sells cameras, smartphones, you cannot find the, the them uh, the them uh, cable because the proprietary one and the only Samsung has the, the cable. Only Samsung makes the, the cable. I'm using this webcam here but it's no good. I will make uh, a screenshot and I will add to my Google Plus, to my Google Plus, Google Photos uh, folder. I will, I will take some screenshot now. Let me close this up. Hold on, let me do something here. Let me change the, let's see if I can mix the image better here. Some screenshots from my other Android device, the stick, and uh, we will have a nice high resolution image of the icons that I'm talking about. And the OS makers, they could make a nice icon with the name of the OS and send to, the, to this guy, and uh, he can be able to create a nice uh, bootloader with the nice icon of the OS and I think this, those OS's they should team up with Google and be able to run Google App Store on the Linux on the those distribution and they can share the, the, the revenue with Google you know what I'm saying so I believe the smartphone and tablet market there are a, a huge place to make lots of money and uh, if you're going to be able to if you can make possible to run google play store on the on those os's then it's going to be a big plus for for google for intel for arm for for all the all the companies, all the, all, for, for everybody, for any people that are going to be using the, 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 the going to be using the internet, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be, it's going to be good for everybody. It's going to be good for the hardware, hardware people, for the software people, for the telecommunication people, because it's going to be more option. You know what I'm saying? And uh, having the, the Google Play Store there is going to be a big plus for the OS. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to take some screenshots and I'm going to finish this video. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to my main screen here.
I'm gonna take some uh, screenshots and I'm gonna upload to my Google Photos account. From there, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna have the the website uh, address so you can uh, you can watch the screenshots and the video direct from Google Photos uh, Google Photos website or from YouTube. From, uh, from Google Photos, you're going to be able to watch. If you have uh, either one, you're going to be able to. If you have a, a USB stick, connect to the to the smart TV, you're going to be able to watch in full, in a big screen TV.
have the links at the I have all the links of those websites here you're going to be able to relax down and watch take a, a cup of coffee and read everything and just make uh, the links you sit down relax and uh, learn about uh, computers computing Okay, this is a software that gives you free, the best free open source software that works with Windows 7, 8, 10, Mac OS X and Linux. I have the all the information how to install it on my on the on the on the YouTube description you have all the links how to install it. But anyway, I have the website everything. So just have to do is click on the website and then you're gonna be able to download it. It works 100 percent with YouTube so you can broadcast live to YouTube and uh I'm going to take a screenshot of this software. I think IPTV is going to be big for next year. So it's better for you to start to learn how to use it now so you, so you can uh, <coughs> in the future if you want to if you are in a university or a school or any organization, you're going to be able to stream live TV, have a, a TV channel and stream live TV to anywhere in the world. And I have the links on YouTube how you can learn how to use it. I have everything on my website, on my uh, My, uh, this one here is so simple to use that I have the website but I will show everything it has the YouTube link with the, the tutorial how to use everything and I will make my own tutorial too on how to use each software This is the most help software. This software does too many things to list here. So I'll have I have the link there and you're gonna be able to to learn everything about this the software and uh, you're going to be able to learn how to use it because I have the YouTube links in the video description This is the software that I'm using. With four clicks, five, six clicks, I have everything ready. Very, very easy to use. I'm going to show you how it looks like recording a live video.
This is a software here called Simple Screen Recorder. I will make a video tutorial how to use it, but you won't be able to figure it out yourself if you, if you start it. Very useful. I'm going to make a video tutorial uh, this week by uh, today is today is Wednesday. By Saturday, I will have this tutorial ready. This is if you want to use, if you want to create video tutorials or uh, video games, playing video games. This software gives you all the power to do it. This one and the OBS. But this one is, I think, it's, it's not it's very nice. I like this one here. OBS to stream, but to do video recording, I prefer to use this software. Here. It's very simple, and uh, I can be, I can see the other settings right in the front of me here live. So this is the best. So I have the link of the website. You can install Steam and use the this this software to record the games. Very easy to use. This is a sample of the games that you can record. So with this software, with this software, uh, any version of Linux, especially when you built in with uh, from Debian and uh, Ubuntu, based on Debian, you're going to be able to create a YouTube account, use the software to create the, the, the videos or you can use OBS to do live streaming I will make a video tutorial on how to use it this software here this is called uh, um, Speed Dial uh, the name, the complete name, uh, EFW, I believe. I use this. This dial here is the number one. I, wanna, I have the video. I made a few videos that show how to use this, how to install the best add-ons to Firefox. This is the dial is the best one, works with, uh, with the Firefox, uh, Chromium browser, Chrome, Google Chrome web browser, and uh, works with uh, Linux, Windows, Mac OS X. I believe it works with, uh, I didn't try it yet with FreeBSD, but I will try in, uh, in the coming months. This is the new OS. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this OS. Oh, I need to create a 
shortcut of this website. The OS is not too, not too new, but mentioning
Okay, now <coughs> we're gonna talk about the next phase in computer in computing. <coughs> we're gonna talk about we're gonna watch about the quantum computing. We're gonna see a, uh, a quantum computer. This is called D Waves System. I have the link on my video description.
we'll have at least two more generations of this processor over the next five years. So from a raw performance point of view, this is going to be an incredible capability that will make a huge impact on the way things are done in this space of high performance computing and solving these really tough problems for you.
Okay, um, this you can uh, install the uh, even, even if you have a single OS, you can still install the this bootloader. Works fine, and uh, I'm waiting to August to have. I want to download, verify all the ISO. Make sure it's everything nice and clean before I finish my this project to have more than 100 OS on a single partition or oh, on a single hard drive and we're using one single swap partition and the rest and the, each OS will have one single EFI partition, one single Uh, home partition one single for the whole home 100 plus OS we're gonna use one swap partition and uh, this is gonna be like that that's, what, that's my plans and I, I want to have 100 plus OS on a single pen drive and SD card micro SD card but I'm ready for uh, I know uh, it's already available to buy a 256 GB micro SD card, but I'm ready for 512 GB. Once I have that available, I will make a guide how to have 100 plus operating system on a single SD card micro SD card and the uh, pen drive and uh, I will have one nice video tutorial how to use a pen drive as folder you're gonna use a pen drive as a folder on your computer So when you need it, you plug it in. When you don't need it, you disconnect it. That's the safest way to have files, uh, digital files. Uh, that's the most secure way to have um, your files secure on a pen drive. And you've got a password protected every, every pen drive. So before people can use it, the pen drive, they have to pass, they have to provide a password. This is my next video. This is a video I'm going to do, but I'm ready to have the, the nice 3.0, 3.1 pen drives. I'm ready to have a nice pen drive to, to be able to do that. And uh, see you in the next video. We all have a nice day. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Peaceful.